Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time to look at my stuff. It's a haul video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. In fact, I've been really behind. I should have done like two or three of these haul videos by now uh, because just within the last month or two, actually going on two months now, that's how behind I've gotten. Uh, I did a lot of traveling to various conventions. Um, I did put out a couple of toy hunting videos, both from Retropalooza, where I got to go to the Lost Toys in Dallas, Texas, and at Retrocon out in Pennsylvania. So if you haven't already seen my toy hunting video, Videos, I would highly recommend that you check those out. This is the video where I get to really show you guys all the things that I picked up from both of those conventions. Uh, some things you might have seen in the toy hunting videos, some things you definitely did not. And since I have a lot to cover, let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanna cover from Retropalooza in Texas uh, are some of the amazing things that fans came up and gave me at the show. It's always a really, really cool experience getting to go to these shows and meet the people face to face who really enjoy what I do here on YouTube. It's very humbling and I know I say that all the time, but it never stops being humbling. It's always an amazing experience and I love getting a little bit of FaceTime with a lot of you guys out there. So uh, folks are always way too nice and they always bring me things at these shows. So I wanna give some proper shout outs and show off some of the cool things that I got. I wanna start with these two amazing pieces of artwork from Chris. Uh, you can see they are both Masters of the Universe Classics base. We got Evil Warriors and Heroic Warriors, uh, and it's pretty obvious that he used the action figures as inspiration for these, but they are amazingly detailed and just super, super cool pieces of work that I really, really appreciate. Speaking of awesome artwork, this stuff is amazing. Boom, check this out. So this was a gift from Matthew Gordon of Otter Illustrations, uh, who does some really cool work. He actually had a portfolio and we looked at a lot of the neat stuff that he had done, but he brought two pieces specifically for me. One is a uh, image that he drew of the party wagon, the Ninja Turtles party wagon, the toy, which is so cool. I always love artwork where like the artwork is of the toy. I think that is so cool. Uh, but this next one is absolutely my favorite. It's Granny Gross from the Real Ghostbusters. Incredible stuff. So he is Otter Illustrations. Uh, looks like you can find him on Facebook, facebook.com slash Otter Illustrations. So shout out for him. Go check him out. He's got some really cool artwork. All right, the kids, man. The kids are always amazing to me. So this right here is a very special shout out to Jason because Jason drew two Pixel Dan comic books just for me. It's actually a two-parter there. Uh, the real Pixel Dan part one, the real Pixel Dan part two. Some pretty amazing stuff going on. Look, I'm saying toy power. I'm holding up He-Man's power sword on the front. Uh, I love this. He worked Spider Blue into the comic. You know, my favorite weirdo variation of Spider-Man that came out in recent years. Uh, so I'm, I'm going, it looks like I'm going to save Spider Blue. Uh, there is all kinds of crazy stuff going on in here. It is amazing. And uh, here, let's check out, let's check out issue two. What's this? Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. So thank you so much, Jason. I always love getting amazing fan art just like that. Um, but that's not where that ends because um, Jason and his dad, Will, who have both big, been big fans of mine, big f supporters of mine for a really long time. So shout out to Will and Jason. But his dad, Will, actually made me this. It's my very own custom painted Spider Blue pop vinyl. How amazing is that? And I don't know if you can really see, I'll try to get some good close up pictures. He actually put glitter on the boots so that the boots are shiny like the actual toy. It's amazing, great detail. So Will and Jason, Thank you both so much for the very cool, very unique gifts. I love them. All right, and then there's one more piece. Another kid gave me some awesome fan art. Nathan drew me this picture, and hopefully that's showing up okay for you. It's Pixel Man! It's me as a superhero with a cape, and I love that he drew the Pixel Dan logo up there at the top. Just incredibly cool stuff, and I, I love it. So thank you, Nathan, very much. 
All right, so this is more stuff that was given to me, and this is the part where things get really, really bad because I've always told you guys that I get real bad at remembering names. I could totally tell you the faces. I know the people who gave these to me, but I can't remember specific names all the time, especially since it's been so long since this show. But I need to give a shout out for the amazing Mini Boglins gift that I was given at the show because I freaking love Mini Boglins. And these little dudes are incredible. And I got like a whole handful of them here. They are so, so very cool. All right, so now we're gonna get into the stuff that I actually bought while I was at Retropalooza and on my toy hunting trip over to The Lost Toys, which was a really amazing toy shop there in the Dallas area. So let me show you guys some of the cool things I picked up. Now you guys all know I'm a big fan of vintage 5.5 figures or five and a half inch scale figures done in that classic barbarian style, uh, very similar to Masters of the Universe. So I picked up two more at Retropalooza that I did not have. Um, you know, in past years, uh, Retropalooza has actually had a lot of toy booths, but this year I noticed that there weren't as many toy booths. There was a lot of video games. Um, and it's not a discredit against the show because it's still an amazing convention. I have so much fun there. Of course, Jay is fantastic, my buddy that runs the show. Um, but I did find these guys at the show on a table, kind of hidden away, which was awesome. Got them for a couple bucks a piece. They were versions I did not yet have, so I was very happy to add them to my collection. And speaking of video games, I of course had to pick up some retro games that I didn't already have in my collection since there was such a great retro game collection there. Um, so I picked up a copy of Iron Sword. Yes, the one with Fabio on the cover, but I didn't have this in my collection uh, and it was only a couple bucks, so I grabbed that. Um, and then a game that I've been needing to buy for a long time that I pulled the trigger on because the price was right. Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. I know it's crazy that I didn't already have this, right? But as you guys may or may not know, it's become a very expensive game in years. This is one I rented all the time as a kid. Obviously one of the best Turtles games of all time. So I'm very happy to finally have it in my collection. Oh, I gotta give a shout out for this too because this also came from Retropalooza, but this was given to me uh, by a fan and it was like in passing while I was walking around the show floor. Um, so thank you very much for the awesome bootleg Power Ranger that's done in the 5.5 style. I actually have a Green Ranger and a Blue Ranger in this style. So now I can add red to the ranks. I love him. Okay, and these next three things are things that I bought while I, well actually I was gifted from The Lost Toys. Again, if you haven't seen my toy hunting video, make sure you check that out. But while I was there, I picked up a Kenner Beetlejuice figure, which I actually had a story that goes with this. I'm just gonna leave that alone and tell you guys to go watch the toy hunting episode where I tell the story. Uh, but I'm very happy to add this guy to my collection. Uh, there's, the packaging is a little bent. There's a good chance I'm gonna open this up at some point because I think I wanna play with that a little bit and display them, so. But it's very cool. I actually, uh, I don't have, I've got like one other Kenner Beetlejuice figure. It's a really great line. This might be something I have to dive into a little heavier at some point. And then I got two figures from Playmates Toys being uh, Barbaric and the Savage Dragon. Um, so of course these are other independent comic characters that Playmates worked in to their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. See, they're branded TMNT. Um, and you can see on the back, we've got a cross sell, which has got those Jim Lee designed Mikey, Raph, and Donnie, which are really, really bizarre versions of the turtles. Uh, but these two guys right here were part of that set. I did not have either of these in my collection. Um, great deal on these. They were, even though I was gifted them by the awesome people at Lost Toys, they had an amazing price on them uh, for being carded. So very excited to first, for the first time ever, add these guys to my collection. All right, so that's gonna do it for Retropalooza. And just a few short weeks later, I found myself in Oaks, Pennsylvania for RetroCon. This was the first time I had ever attended RetroCon. It was an amazing show. Um, the people there that hosted it were fantastic. They treated me great. It was awesome having a table set up there. And uh, the thing I can say about RetroCon is that this is like a full on toy show. I mean, I've been to lots of toy shows before, but I've never been to something that's like a convention like this. Um, that is so toy focused like this, uh, outside of the amazing show I went to in Mexico City. Um, you know, the unboxing toy con, I talked about that being a big toy show and that was still even bigger, but RetroCon just had so many toy dealers. It was like a hybrid, 
toy show and convention. It was very, very cool. There were so many amazing things to find. And maybe if that, that's just because there's a lot of good treasures out on the East Coast that I've never really been able to dig through before, but I found lots of cool stuff. Um, I got to hang out with my friend Dan Larson from Toy Galaxy, so shout out to Dan. I'm a big fan of what he and Greg do over there in Toy Galaxy, and it was really cool getting to spend the entire weekend hanging out with Dan and his wife. Uh, you know, we went to dinner every night. We spent pretty much three solid days hanging out together and talking shop and talking toys, and it was really cool. And also got to give a special shout out to my buddy Kevin and Erica from SEO Toy Review, uh, whom also treated me great, uh, helped me out a lot while I was out there and got to hang out with them as well. So it was a great time. I'll get done. I'm done talking now. Let's talk about the things I brought home from the show. So this right here, um, actually I've got a few gifts in here that came from various people. So I'm gonna pull these all out. There we go. Okay, so this bag right here, I know there's a note in here. Come on, notes. Aha, I found the notes. It's actually a little card. It's like a, basically I got a little Christmas gift early, but that's okay, Christmas is coming up fast. So the note says, to Pixel Dan, thank you for the many years of you and your family displaying your collection with us on YouTube. I've been a fan since almost the very start. I saw these at my local, uh, was it? Oh, it's, I don't know, it's a toy shop, I think. <laughs> I saw this at a local shop and thought you'd get a kick out of it. I don't know if you have them, but please enjoy Kumar. <coughs> And this is what Kumar gave me. <laughs> Superhuman Samurai watches. What? And they're they're carded. That's amazing. Uh, I love weird, obscure stuff like this. So he totally knows me well just from watching my videos. Uh, I love this one especially because it's got the little lenticular on there. So he changes faces. These are great. Thank you, man. I love weird stuff like this. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, next up, this is amazing. And this is one of those times where I feel bad. I think I gave a proper shout out on Twitter uh, to the individual who gave this to me. Again, I remember you, I just can't remember the name, but made me this amazing custom ice cream kitty figure that is scaled with the Playmates TMNT figures. Uh, he's sitting in a little cooler. It's just amazing, hand painted, such an incredible piece. I love Ice Cream Kitty. I was always bummed we never got an official release. This guy is awesome. So thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. More gifts that were brought to me at the table. I got these amazing pens, which I'm a big, I'm a pen collector. I have some pens up there on my wall right there. So I got a monster in my pocket pen and an Usagi Yojimbo pen, which came from Stan Sakai. I think he had those at Comic-Con recently, which is cool. And this dude right here, Ultraman? Is this an Ultraman of some sort? I, don't, I love it. It's freaking cool. It's so cool. So thank you guys very much for these. Shout out to Retro Toy Review, who stopped by to give me a disc copy of his story of Sectars documentary, which is up on YouTube, on his YouTube channel. So definitely check that out. Very special shout out. Uh, thanks for stopping by. It was awesome talking with you. And thanks for the disc, man. That is very cool of you. I met George, and George is a huge TMNT fan. I actually did a little live stream with him on his Facebook page. Uh, he's a huge Turtles collector. He gave me an autographed picture of him, but he signed it to my friend Pixel Dan from the number one TMNT collector. He's a very, very nice guy. So thank you so much, man, for the awesome picture and for just coming by and chatting with me. He brought like his super rare scratch and his Channel 6 news van, which are super rare pieces from the vintage toy line. So it was cool. It's always cool getting to see that stuff in person. So thanks, man. And then this right here, this is the last gift I have to show you guys from RetroCon. Uh, it's amazing. This came from Mikey12 is his handle online. It's the coming out of their shells soundtrack on cassette. Amazing. I really need to pop this in and listen to it. I did not have this. I have never owned this. I am so happy to have this. So thank you so much, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Let's end things off with all the stuff that I bought at RetroCon. There was so much, I could have bought so much more. Um, you probably saw a lot of this in my toy hunting video. If you didn't, go watch my toy hunting video. But let me give you a closer look at some of the cool things I picked up. You'll see there's a theme. Almost everything I bought at the show was some sort of 5.5 figure because there were so many of them there and I just love collecting that stuff. But I've also got some related stuff and I wanna start with this really weird Taiwanese sticker set. It's a bootleg sticker set of Masters of the Universe and the names 
are amazing on this. I mean, the colors are wrong too, but the names, like the terribly translated names that they gave these guys. So like He-Man is Musklor. Okay, that's not so crazy. He's actually been called that in, in various countries, right? Um, you know, Tila is Leifa. Okay, not so bad. Man at Arms is Man to Man. All right. Skeletor is Boneface. Yeah, that's not so bad. Stratos is Feathers. <laughs> Merman is Fisher. I love Beastman. He's Orange a Tang. I think they were trying to put Orangutan, but instead they put Orange a Tang. But some of the best ones are on the back where we've got Contractor for Blast Attack. We've got Bobbert for Gwildor, which is amazing. We've got Knifer for Blade. Uh, this one doesn't make any sense to me. Hordak is Busser Rickstar. What? Um, and then some of my absolute favorites on the entire thing. Mosquitoor is B-Man. Mossman is Bluegrass. And now I want a blue flocked Mossman that I can name Bluegrass, because that's amazing. As far as I'm concerned, that's a whole new character right there. And then my absolute favorite, Prince Adam. His name is Alan. He's just Alan. This was so goofy, and I just, I had to pick it up, because it's so, so funny. This same seller had some amazing stuff, so I want to give him a proper shout out because uh, he was super cool. He explained a lot of the stuff he had for sale to me because uh, he had a lot of unique pieces I had never seen before. One of the other things I bought from him was this Masters of the Universe Magnetics set. How cool is that? If you've never seen Magnetics before, think color forms, but with magnets instead. Uh, it's great. It's got this amazing scenery. You can see the little figures there. They're just magnetic so they cling. The only thing is it's missing He-Man with Battle Cats. It's the only piece missing is the main character, but everybody else is there and it's still amazing. The artwork is fantastic on this. I love it. So it's just a very cool, unique Masters of the Universe piece to add to the collection. And that brings me to the bag of 5.5 figures. We got knockoffs, we got bootlegs, we got all kinds of crazy stuff. But I want to start with this, because this right here is my absolute favorite find of the show. This is from a line called Two-Face Devil. These guys are amazing. And it was really cool because I had never seen these in person before. And I saw two at the show at two different places. I got this one loose and then somebody else had a carded one, which I showed in my toy hunting video. The colors on this dude are so wacky. He's got interchangeable faces just by turning his head around. So he's got like a human face and a bird face. He's so bizarre and I love him. One of my favorites was when I was hunting with Dan Larson. He actually pointed these guys out to me. Um, this is an awesome, he's from a wrestling line and somebody sent me an image of them and I already forget what it was called. I, I'm sorry that I'm unprepared, but this was a line of wrestlers done in the 5.5 style. I love this dude because he look, his, he's wearing a luchador mask, but he's like an onion headed guy, right? So I fell in love with him immediately. I bought him on the same table, like down at the end of the table, Dan yells at me and says, Hey, isn't this like the same guy you just bought? And he pulls this up. This is a bootleg of this. Isn't that insane? Like this is already basically a knockoff. I mean, it was a part of a real line, but they're obviously trying to capitalize on masses of the universe. So this is like a knockoff and this is a bootleg of the knockoff. It's amazing. Here's a couple more rando dudes. This one is obviously another wrestler. He's got himself a belt. This guy's like a very cool elf looking dude. I really, really like him quite a bit. And by the way, I know there are proper names for a lot of these guys. And again, I'm super unprepared because I'm just kind of throwing together this haul video. So feel free to tell me in the comments what the names of these guys are. I always appreciate learning more things about toys. I definitely never, never uh, claim to be an expert on everything. So tell me who these guys are. Like this dude, I love him. This guy's got a shield and a helmet and everything. This also came from the same seller that I got the magnetic set and, um, the crazy stickers from. So another really, really great find at his booth. Oh, I know what this is. This is from a line called Troll Force. It's amazing. It's a line of 5.5 guys with basically He-Man bodies complete with little loincloths, but they have troll doll heads. And they came in all sorts of themes like wrestlers and superheroes. There's one that looks like the Incredible Hulk. This one is the Terminator. Yep, look, he's painted like he's got skin breaking off. You can see the uh, endoskeleton underneath. He's just amazing because he's so weird. Okay, here's a weird bootleg and I got to give uh, Kevin from SEO Toy Review credit for pointing this out to me because he bought the orange one, an orange tiger. This is a white tiger that's basically, basically a blow mold 
of Battle Cat. So it's the same mold, but it's super cheaply made. He's white, he's got black stripes that are very, very worn off, but he's amazing. And Kevin found an orange one that at first he thought was the orange tiger from Big Jim. Um, but it's not, because it's just a blow mode bootleg like this, but I love this. And then the same seller had this crazy He-Man bootleg with molded legs like in a saddle position. So, you know, I'll just, I'll just display them like this. And we're getting down to my last couple pieces here. Again, these right here came from the same seller that had all the awesome 5.5 stuff. Uh, these are another line that I had never heard of that basically utilized the same body as Golden Girl. No, not Golden Girls. There's a line called Golden Girl that's kind of like a She-Ra knockoff line. Um, and these are the same kind of bodies, but they're not part of that line. Um, and the colors are amazing on these. I love the sparkly capes. I love the, especially the purple hair. Um, just very cool looking characters. Um, some neat female characters to add to my 5.5 collection. I love them. And then lastly, probably one of my favorite things that I got simply because it's something that I was specifically looking for. If you saw my toy anting video, you saw me find this. This just looks like a regular old beat up man at arms. Uh, he was just in a bin of loose figures for like $3 a piece. Um, but I spotted him right away because there was something about him I was looking for. The little red painted dots on top of his helmet means he's an eight back. He's from the original 1982 releases because only the original release Man at Arms had those details painted on. All the ones after that stopped having that. And I needed to have an eight back Man at Arms in my collection. Now I have one. He's a little dirty. Yes, I can clean him up. He's missing his armor and weapon. Yes, but now I have something to hunt down and add to this guy. I couldn't just leave an eight back Man at Arms laying there for only $3. So he's a very cool find and I'm very, very glad that I got it. So that is it, my friends. That is my haul from both both Retro Palooza and RetroCon. Both of them were amazing conventions. I had such a good time at both shows, uh, hanging out with friends uh, that I don't get to see very often, meeting a lot of people who enjoy my videos and doing some toy hunting. Really, really cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm gonna have another toy hunting video, or I'm sorry, another look at my stuff video coming up real soon um, because I have a lot of stuff from the PO box that I need to show off. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out my other haul videos, my other toy hunting videos, and until next time, my friends.